Hi, it's Ryan from Uncanny Owl. In this video, we're going to take a look at how to create a simple recipe with the Uncanny Automator plugin. The process is really easy, and you should be able to create your first recipe in a few minutes. To get started, sign into your WordPress site as an admin and navigate to Uncanny Automator, then add new. Each recipe needs at least three things, a name up here, a trigger, and an action. You can have more triggers and actions, but you need at least one of each. Take some time to think of a recipe name that's meaningful to you. In this example, we're going to have a product purchase, add users to a learn dash group. So I'm going to call it beginner group purchase. Next, I'm going to choose a trigger. If you're wondering why only a few plugins are shown in this example, remember that Automator will only show triggers and actions for plugins installed on your site. I'll click WooCommerce now to have the recipe start on product purchase. I'll choose User Purchases a Product. Note the blue text. That means there's a variable here and I need to choose something. In this example, I want to run the recipe when people purchase a specific product so I'll choose that product now. Then it's important to save the trigger. Next, I need to tell Automator what to do when someone buys that Automator Basics course. I want two actions, one adding users to a LearnDash group and the other sending users a welcome email. I'll start with the LearnDash action. I'm going to add the user to a group, so after choosing that action, I'll click here to choose a group and save the first action. Now I'm setting up a welcome email. That's a WordPress action, so I'll choose WordPress. Emails are a bit complicated to set up, but won't take us more than a minute here. When you see the double braces like this, it means we're using a token or a variable to populate the values. In this example, I want to send the email from the administrator to the user, so these defaults are fine. For the subject, I'll use something simple, so welcome to Automator Training. Now I'll set up the body. See the symbols over on the right next to each field? When you click those, you can see all available tokens. These are the variables. Some are system tokens that are available in every recipe, but some are added depending on your triggers. I want to start the email with a personal greeting, so let's find the user's name. That's under common tokens, then user first name. When I click it, you can see how it adds the token to the body of the email. Then I'll type in a quick welcome message. So bear with me for that, and that's it. I'll save that second action now. Now everything is all set up for the recipe, but it isn't live yet, so it won't run. For recipes to run on your site, you have to make sure that all triggers and actions are set to live, like this. Then, as a final step when the recipe is ready, switch the entire recipe to live over here. And that's all there is to it. Now, when any user buys the Uncanny or the Automator Basics product using WooCommerce, that user will get added to the sales group in LearnDash and they'll receive a welcome email.